so much pain, guys. So much pain from that Draymond ejection, especially because it was such a bad call. But the Jaren rebounds easily hit. The Draymond fantasy points was easily going to hit. He needed like eight or nine more with like three minutes to go in the second quarter, and he gets ejected. So uh, just so painful. One for one, but it, it should have been a clean sweep, and it sucks. It, it really, really does. But um, let's talk about some player pops I like for this slate. Again, if you're a first-time viewer, welcome. My name is DK. I cover uh, make content for Prize Picks, NBA Top Shot, and DraftKings, and uh, I do offer premium content on Patreon.com for DFS. Cover the NBA, USFL, and esports. Um, so check that out if you're interested. Again, linked in the description below. But all right, let's start it off with Jay Crowder. We're gonna take us over on 20 fancy points. So Jay Crowder has not shot well so far in the playoffs. He's also been in foul trouble like every single game. And he has still been hitting these overs. So let's just take a look at Jay Crowder, right? Um, like I said, foul trouble now in the last four games. Five fouls, five fouls, five, five, five. five. Um, he got, it was massive foul trouble. He only played 22 minutes. Um, so he's lost a good chunk of minutes this series because of foul trouble. The positive of Jay Crowder is, again, blocks and steals, right? He is a guy that is great at getting those blocks and steals. He's a good defender. And if he can stay out of foul trouble, I think he's playing over 30 minutes in this game. So he's not shot well. He's been in foul trouble all series uh, against the Pelicans, and he still continued to hit this over. So I think if you get an average shooting game from Crowder or if he stays out of foul trouble, should very, very easily hit. So we're going to take the over on 20 fancy points there for Jay Crowder. The next one we're going to go to uh, is Chris Paul, and it feels just too low at 9.5. Now, I know he didn't hit that last game, but that's just because he took over scoring himself, right? He went for 33 points last game with Devin Booker back. So that was really the main reason why that, that number did not hit last game was just because he just did everything offensively for the team. Now, if you look at potential assists for Chris Paul in the playoffs, it is over 18 potential assists. So that is absolutely wild. He's probably playing, you know, 38 or so minutes. Um, and a lot of his potential assists are like alley-oops, whether it be to, to DeAndre Ayton, whether it be to JaVel McGee. So a lot of those are like guaranteed assists, right? So uh, we like the over, or I like the over here on Chris Paul at nine and a half assist. And then the last one here, I know I'm not really touching anyone in Philadelphia because like, I want to see if they put up a Paul Reed uh, stat line. I'm, I'm curious, but um, you know, it's an awful spot. Obviously no Embiid, you know, you're probably going to see Harden have to do everything. I don't hate taking his over, but uh, we're going to be all in the slate game, and we're going to take the over here on Dorian Finney-Smith at 24 fancy points. And like I said, it really just comes down to minutes for Dorian Finney-Smith. He's not leaving the court. He literally, him and Reggie Bullock, like, don't leave the court. Uh, so in the playoffs, 44, 42, 47, 40, 41, and 46 minutes. So Dorian Finney-Smith, a decent rebounder, actually been shooting the ball pretty well, 6 of 12, 4 of 7, 4 of 11, 7 of 13, He's going to play massive minutes. Um, and yeah, if he stays out of foul trouble, I think he can hit this number. So uh, we're going to take the over here on Dorian Finney-Smith, 24 fancy points as the last pick. So that'll wrap it up for the video, guys. Again, if you do enjoy, just make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Appreciate you as always, and I'll see everyone in the next video.